driver, I didn't even see you there. It's really cool to finally get to talk to you after, you know, all this time of you being our quote unquote tour guide. So I was playing a little music from The Sound of Music. I was just playing it and I was remembering a guy that we talked about and read about, a guy by the name of Richard Wagner. Um, you know, I'm a huge fan of Broadway and of uh, musical theater. Um, and so when I read about some of the stuff he was doing with operas, I saw several similarities between Wagner and uh, musical theater composers of our era. Um, I know Wagner called his operas uh, musical dramas. And um, that was really interesting to me because he, you know, felt that music and drama should be equal within a uh, musical or uh, opera. And I thought this was really funny because I know that's a lot of what uh, theaters do nowadays or uh, composers do. Um, he also believed that, you know, they did a philosophy called bigger is better. Part of uh, what Broadway musicals do, the idea is bigger is better. And the more lights, the more uh, outrageous colors, the the better and more, more uh, people will want to come see it. Having you know read all this and uh, learned all this about Wagner, I have a feeling that he had more of an impact than just history. I guess my question is, um, how much of an impact do we see of Wagner when it comes to Broadway and musical theater? Can we call Wagner the father or pioneer of, of musical theater? Or is it what we see on stage today, just a uh, progression and a combination of the centuries that followed them? Thank you uh, for answering my question. I'm going to get back to, uh, to playing, if you don't mind. Do a deer, right? A female deer, ray.